Good afternoon, this is Mrs Aldrich. This presentation is explaining the details of our upcoming visit to Dolly Mock with the Year 6 children. So this year's trip to Dolly Mock will take place from Wednesday the 28th of September and we will return to school on Sunday the 2nd of October. For those of you that haven't visited Dolly Mock yourself, it is in Snowdonia in North Wales and it's an educational centre that's owned by Coventry City Council. It gives the pupils at Sacred Heart and other Coventry schools such a fantastic opportunity to go away for five days of learning outside of the classroom and to experience just living in a completely different environment to Coventry. Whilst they're there, they'll take part in so many different activities and many of which fulfil lots of the aims of the national curriculum, especially for PE and geography. And the staff at Dolly Mark are all fully trained teachers and they're also fully trained in all of the activities that they teach. So you can be reassured that your children are in really safe hands whilst they are there. So on Wednesday, the 28th of September, which is next Wednesday, the children don't come into school at the normal time in the morning. Instead, they can have a nice lie in and they need to arrive at school at 1.15 p.m. When they arrive, if they come through the playground gate and go straight to the lodge where we will all meet before we leave and the coach will leave at 1.45 promptly. So please make sure that your children are there before 1.45. Please don't arrive any earlier than 1.15 because the playground gates will have to stay shut until that time as the rest of the school will be on their lunch up until then. Before you bring your child to school, please make sure that they've had a really good breakfast and that they have also eaten their lunch before they come in. If your child does get travel sick, please make sure that you have given them uh, travel sickness medication at the correct time before we depart. So the coach journey takes approximately four hours, so it is very long and about half of that journey is along narrow, winding country lanes. The coach does belong to Dolly Mark and they are quite strict with their rules that no children are allowed food or drink or sweets on the coach at all. However, we will stop at Telford services along the way where the children can go to the toilet and we will um, also provide them with a drink and a snack whilst we're there. None of the children are allowed to bring any electronic devices with them, any games or mobile phones. So if we do find any, they will be confiscated and given back at the end. They won't need them whilst they're there at all. They won't be able to use their mobile phones. Um, so please make sure that they're not bringing them along. They can bring a small bag on the coach and inside that they can have a book or a puzzle book or something to write with to keep them occupied on the journey. So the return journey, the children will have their breakfast at Dolly Mock before they leave and the coach leaves at about 9am, which means that we arrive back in school at about 1pm. Um, if there are any travel delays or anything like that, we will update Facebook. So please keep your, your eye on Facebook. Um, but otherwise, if you can make sure your child is collected from school at 1pm, please. Um, if your child is travel sick, then again, um, if you can supply travel sickness tablets for the return journey, um, and you, they need to go in a labelled envelope or just in the box with their name on it um, with instructions of timings and things and make sure that they're handed to one of the staff before we leave on the Tuesday. Again, there will be a toilet stop at Telford Services on the way home and we will provide the children with a drink and a snack there as well. If your child is on any form of medication whilst we are in Dolly Mark, then it is really important that you inform the staff who are going about that. So um, obviously when your child arrives at the lodge on Wednesday, you can come and talk to one of the members of staff there that are going and you can just explain to them when the medication needs to be given and how it needs to be given. And obviously if you can also write that down on a piece of paper and put that with the medication um, in a named envelope, then the staff will all feel really confident about how it needs to be administered and when it needs to be given. We will also take an emergency bottle of cowpole with us. So any child that is feeling 
unwell, we will give them Calpol. However, if you don't wish us to give Calpol to your child, then please um, just let Mrs Tagger or Mrs Harding in the office know and they will pass that on. But if we haven't received a note from you, we'll assume that you agree to us giving Calpol if your child needs it, if they're feeling really poorly. Every day also, there'll be quite a long minibus journey to transport the children to their different activities. So if your child does get travel sick, if you can send some additional travel sickness tablets in a named envelope, then we can obviously give those out prior to the journeys and um, try and avoid your children from becoming sick and feeling uncomfortable during the journeys. So while we are in Dolimark, your children are going to have an absolutely fantastic time. They will have so much fun. Um, and we have got a jam packed timetable of activities that will be going on. So we're still finalising that at the moment, but it's likely to include some or most of the following things. So they will be doing some kayaking or canoeing. They'll do rock climbing or abseiling or possibly both of them. Um, we will be doing some mining. We'll go mountain walking. We will visit the beach where they'll be able to do some beach scrambling, um, looking in the rock pools and learning about coastal erosion. Um, we'll also go to the forest where they'll get the chance to do orienteering. And on top of those daytime activities, there's also a programme of evening activities, including things like the nightline, a labyrinth and a campfire. So they will be kept extremely busy. And then in between all of those activities, they do get to enjoy some free time as well. The letter you've already received will detail the things that you needed to pack. Um, but here is a reminder. So they need to bring their personal toiletries for washing. So things like their toothbrush and toothpaste and shower gel and things like that. They need a large towel. They need a warm coat. It is September, end of September. It often rains in um, Snowdonia. So something to keep them warm, um, possibly waterproof. They need at least five sets of underwear and I've just put there plus a few extras just in case if it does rain heavily and they get wet during an activity. It's always good to have some spares to change into. They need something to sleep in at night. They need a plastic bag or a bin liner, ideally, to put their dirty washing straight into that they can bring home to you at the end. Um, they need to bring two pairs of trainers with them, one that is old and that they don't mind getting muddy or wet. Uh, at least three pairs of tracksuit bottoms or leggings, three long sleeve fleece tops or hoodies, three pairs of thick socks to go under their walking boots, a warm hat and gloves, three t-shirts, some shorts that they could wear under a wetsuit, a small torch with some batteries if you have one, and that can be put inside their bag for the coach so that when we arrive um, and are walking there, if it is dark, uh, they can use that along the lane to help them see. They also need to bring a set of casual clothes for the evening, so trousers, jumper and a t-shirt, and obviously for travelling in. And we've also just put a sun hat and sun cream because the weather, we're just going from summer into autumn, so it might be a bit unpredictable. And if it is hot and we have a late summer, we don't want the children to get burned. Your children will not need to take any specialist equipment or specialist clothing um, because Dolly Mark do provide everything that they need for the different activities. So they provide walking boots, a waterproof coat, a windproof top, waterproof trousers, wellies, rucksacks and helmets. So they won't need anything like that. Their clothes and other things should be packed inside um, a soft hold all if possible, because they can be stored then underneath the door, um, the beds in the dorms. There's not a huge amount of room in all of the dorms. So hard cases aren't ideal because they often don't fit underneath the beds. So if you can have um, a soft hold all that can be squashed down, 
um, that would be um, the best. The children won't need to bring with them any really dressy clothes because there won't be the opportunity for them to be having any kind of party events. Um, any activities that they do in the evening will involve being outdoors, maybe getting a little bit cold and messy. So um, they they really don't need to bring any nice clothes. It's all just about being warm and um, things that they don't mind getting dirty. They also won't need to bring with them any electrical appliances, including hair dryers or hair straighteners. There will be a couple of hair dryers in the teachers' rooms if they are desperately needed. They're not allowed to bring any food or chewing gum in their suitcase. Um, Dolly Market is in the countryside and any food might encourage mice into their dormitories, which obviously we don't want. Medicine shouldn't be in their suitcase. That should have all been given to the teacher if it is required before we leave. And again, mobile phones or electronic devices shouldn't be in suitcases either. So the sleeping arrangements, there are dormitories and the children will be sharing a room with other children. So Dolly Mark have dormitories of varying sizes that accommodate from two children up to eight. Um, so we will we have asked your children to choose a number of friends that they wouldn't mind sharing a room with. And we will make sure that every child is with one of their choices, at least. Um, the children are expected to keep their rooms and their belongings tidy and they will need to make their beds every day. And there will be room inspections every morning after breakfast to ensure that they are keeping their rooms tidy. Um, the children won't be allowed in other dormitories. There will be plenty of communal, communal areas where the children can meet their friends in their free time. But the dormitories are kind of each child's safe space and a, and a space that they can go and relax without having to worry about other children coming in and out of their dormitory. Um, as I mentioned, food and drink aren't allowed in the dorm. So please just make sure that the children haven't snuck any into their suitcases because we don't want to encourage any mice. And also when we arrive, the children will make their own beds. That includes putting on their duvet covers and their pillowcases. So that might be something that a few of the children might want to practice before we arrive at Dolly Mark. While your children are in Dolly Mark, they will be extremely well fed. The food is fantastic. Um, so we always have breakfast in the dining hall together and that will be a choice of cereal or toast and the children are allowed to have as much or as little as they want of that so they can make sure that they're really full up ready for their day of activities. And when we've finished breakfast, the children then make their own pat lunch. Um, so they'll make their own sandwiches and choose their crisps and fruit and biscuits and things. Um, and those lunches will then be taken out on our activities and they'll be eaten wherever we are that day, whether that's the beach or inside a mine um, or up a mountain. Then when we return in the evening after activities, the children will all join together in the dining room for the evening meal, which is always a hot home cooked meal with a pudding. And then the children will also get back together again after their evening activities and have hot chocolate before they go to bed. While they're in Dolly Mott, the children will also have a special job that they need to do. Um, so that might be as part of the weather team or the eco team. They might be part of the team that sets the tables for meals or cleans up the tables after the meals. They might be responsible for sweeping out the communal areas or tidying up the drying rooms or sweeping out the minibuses. So whatever their job is, they're expected to do that job every day and to be on time for it as well. So Dolly Mott do have a small tuck shop which Sacred Heart staff can open and run in the evenings where the children can buy some treats. It won't be open on the first night. So children are allowed to bring a little bit of spending money in for the tuck shop, uh, but we will limit the number of items that they can buy. There's also a souvenir shop open on the final night. Um, and Dolly Mark staff suggest that children bring up to £10 to spend on their tuck and souvenirs. There's also the chance on one of the days when we visit the beach for the children to buy an ice cream, which will be a pound. So if you want to send an extra pound for that, um, then the staff will collect that in. Now, all the money must be handed in to staff. So if you put it either in a purse or a wallet or an envelope with your child's name on it and give it to the staff when you arrive in the lodge um, before we depart. And we will make sure that that's given in, um, sorry, given out to the children each evening and then collected back in. So it's kept safe.
when we are in Dolly Mott, we do expect the children to be behave in exactly the same way that they do when we're in school. So they need to follow our three golden rules of showing respect, following instructions straight away and always doing their best. And we will reward the children whilst they're there with positive behaviour points as we do in school. Um, and we will also issue yellow and red zones if we need to, if the children don't follow our golden rules. Um, this has never happened before, but if a child was to repeatedly break the golden rules whilst we're in Dolly Mock or do anything that might be dangerous to themselves or dangerous to another child, then we would ring you and we might ask you to come and collect your child if we don't think it's safe for them to be there anymore. But as I said, that has never happened and I'm sure it's not going to happen this year. And I just want to reassure you that no news is good news. So please don't expect to hear from us or from your child while we're at Dolly Mark. We will only call you if there is a problem and rest assured we will call you if we need to. So um, please, please don't worry. Your child will be having a fantastic time. Um, we will try our very best to update Facebook with lots of photos and posts about what the children have been doing each day. Just bear in mind that the signal can be very poor in Snowdonia. So there are no promises. However, um, we will take lots and lots of photos. So if the worst comes to worst, then we will upload them when we when we get back. Hopefully this PowerPoint has provided you with all the details that you need to know. But if I have forgotten something or if there's something that you wanted to know that I haven't answered, then please contact us. Um, you can call the school or you can email me and um, or Mrs O'Malley and we'll make sure that we reply to you with any other queries that you've got. OK, thank you. Bye.